welcome to my channel Andrew Makes and today I have an amazing fabulous pattern haul for you. I have almost 40 patterns to show you and all but four came from the same place and they were two for a quarter which equals eight for a dollar and the other four were 50 cents each and I have them in chronological order for you and the most recent one is from 2016 and then it drops to 2001 and goes all the way down to 1967. So thanks so much for tuning in to see these. It really means a lot to me and it encourages me to keep making videos. So let's get started on this haul. I have a few patterns that I couldn't find a year on so we'll start with those first. This one is Butterick 6548. And here are the line drawings. And it's described as a loose fitting pullover top, two lengths, has shoulder inserts, dropped shoulders, and long sleeves rolled up. The wrong side shows. Has shoulder straps and shoulder tab options or a cap sleeve. The next one is McCall's 7833. And it's little girls' dresses. I might have a granddaughter or granddaughter someday. And it's described as long or short dress gathered into face, front, and back yokes. Has bag zipper closing and longer short sleeves with gathered cap and elastic in lower casings. And the next one is C and Sew 3850. Check out those sleeves. That's all the rage right now. And here are the line drawings. And it's described as loose fitting dress, three inches below mid knee, has self drawstring at neck with self ruffle collar. Again, very in right now. Elasticized waistline. Side seam pockets and full length raglan sleeves, elasticized at wrists, forming self ruffle. And the next one is Butterick 6434. And here are the line drawings. And it's described as dress below mid knee or below mid calf. Has a loose fitting bodice, elastic waist, flared skirt, side pockets, and self or purchased belt. And here's New Look 6946. And I don't know if you could see right here, but the previous owner wrote a note on it and it says neckline is too low. I think that's really cool. And here are the line drawings. I can't find a detailed description on this, but it is a top and then two lengths of pants. And there's where she wrote her note that the neckline's too low. Now we're getting into the ones that had a date on them. This one is from 2019 and it's C&So B6408. And here are the line drawings. And it's described as a Mrs. Romper and Jumpsuit, loose fitting, straight legged romper and jumpsuit, have blue sawn bodice, elasticized waist, side front pockets, front zipper, and stitched hems. Purchase drawstring. View A has a pocket and view B has longer than full length sleeves. Single layer hood and wrong side shows. This one's from 2001. It's McCall's 3336. There are no line drawings. It's described as Mrs. Petite unlined coat, jackets, and vest. Hooded coat, vest, jacket have contrast color blocking detail and novelty button front closures. A jacket without contrast has collar and novelty button front closures. And this is a Sewing with Nancy pattern. This one's from 1996. It's Butterick 4689, Little Girl's Dresses. 
There are the line drawings, and it's described as a dress below mid-knee, has long sleeves with contrast binding, flared collar, yokes, contrast ruffles, and binding and tie. This one's from 1996 also. It's McCall's 8367. And there are the line drawings, and it's described as toddler's jumpers. A-line jumpers have neckline variation. View C has an overall back with straps that fasten in front. Jumper B features bias pockets, and jumper D has a front and back center seam. This one's from 1994. It's Simplicity 9313. And there are the line drawings. It doesn't have a detailed description, but it says Mrs. Lined Vest, Pants and Top. This one's from 1993. It's Butterick 3209. And there are the line drawings. And it's described as Mrs. Pants, tapered, slightly tapered, or wide leg pants. Have waistband and back zipper. So this one's just the pants. This one's from 1993. It's Simplicity 8452. I don't think there's anything cuter than a baby or toddler in a bubble suit. And there are the line drawings. And it says toddler's romper in two lengths, a dress, a vest, and a hat. Romper or dress with double back elastic casing and front gather to band has back button shoulder straps, optional self fabric bow, ribbon bow, or purchased rosettes. Still in 1993, this is McCall 6671. And here are the line drawings. It's a Mrs. Wrap skirt in two lengths. Straight skirt has front and back darts with faced waistline. Right front edge may be self-fringed. All right. Used purchased fringe or right front and lower edges trimmed with blanket stitch. See the fringe right there? Super groovy. And I really like this version. This is from 1992. It's McCall's 5818. And there are the line drawings. And it's Mrs. Unline Jacket Top Split Skirt, which is also called Culottes, in two lengths and pants. Very loose fitting jacket with drop shoulders and shoulder pads. Woohoo! Has back yoke with forward shoulder seams and pocket. Inverted center back pleat and long sleeves with continuous lap and button cuff. Pullover top has back neck slit with button and loop closure. Loose fitting pull on split skirt in two lengths or tapered pants have side seam pockets and fold back waistline casing with two rows of elastic extended to flat front waistband at side front edges. This one's from 1992. It's McCall's 5760. There are no line drawings, but it says it's an infant's jumpsuit in two lengths and a top. This is from 1992. It's Simplicity 7809. And it says Oliver Gooden. I'm not familiar with that, but I'm sure many of you are. Look at those pantaloons. Oh my goodness, so adorable. And there are the line drawings, and it's a toddler's dress, pinafore in two lengths, and there's also a blue ink transfer for smocking included. A ruffled pinafore gathered into yoke has side ties, back button opening, ruffle and piping. 
This one's from 1992. It's Simplicity 8200. And there are the line drawings of all the different versions. Child's jumper in two lengths, jumpsuit and blouse. This one's from 1992. It is McCall's Stitch and Save 5924. And there are the line drawings. It's Mrs. Tank Top and Shorts. Sleeveless Tank Top has stitched front pleat with button trim. Shorts with wide legs have front pleats, side pockets opening, flat front waist, and double row of elastic at back. This is from 1991. It's Butterick 5396. Kids overalls pattern. Super adorable. And there are the line drawings. It's Toddler's Children's Jumper Jumpsuit and Top. This is from 1991. It's Butterick 5808. And there are the line drawings. It's Mrs. Split Skirt and Skirt. Very loose fitting flared split skirt above mid knee or lower calf or skirt lower calf has waistband front and back pleats and side zipper. I love those and those. The skirt's fun too, but I love me some culottes. This is from 1990. It's Simplicity 9826. And there are the line drawings. It's Mrs. Knit Top Pants and Skirt. Long length top has long sleeves, wide neckline, and ribbed knit bands. Skirt and pants have elastic waistline casing. This is from 1990. It's the Children's Corner Patterns. And it's called the Knit Dress. And there are the line drawings. And it says the Knit Dress has been designed for your serger or machine using an overlock stitch. The pattern is quick and easy. Instructions are included for sewing with knits. View A is designed with a short puffed sleeve and View B with a long puffed sleeve. Both views have ribbing at the arm and wristband. All views have slightly raised waistlines. View C is a sleeveless version with a scooped out neckline, front and back. All views are designed to slip over the head. This is also from 1990. It's McCall's 4874. Look at all the options there. I really like this and it's hard to tell on this view, but you could probably see it better in the line drawings. There's a this is straight right here and then it's gathered from here down so that's really in right now also well there are no line drawings but it says Mrs. Vest t-shirt skirt pants capri pants or shorts so a lot for your money with this pattern the Mrs. Faced Vest has front buttons fake welt pockets front darts and back ties pull over t-shirt with and without sleeves pull on skirt with yoke Pull on pants, capri pants, or shorts. All have elastic at waist and pockets. Give me some pockets. We're still in 1990. This is McCall's 4717. Again, with the dropped waist that's gathered and those huge pockets. Love that. And here are the line drawings. It says Mrs. Jumper and Top. Top for stretch knits only. Front button jumper has dropped waist, full gathered skirt, and front patch pockets. Pullover top has extended shoulders and back keyhole opening. We're moving into the 80s now. One of my fave decades. This is from 1989 and it's Simplicity 9096 and there are the line drawings it's a Mrs. Two-Piece Dress top stitch top has capped sleeve view 2 top cut crosswise and has patch pocket view 1 top has contrast color and cuffs 
pull-on flared skirt, has elasticized waistline, side seam pockets, and top stitched hem. This is from 1986. It's McCall's 2436. And this is so neat. The previous owner, there's her notes about making the pattern. I just love things like this. When you all buy used or vintage patterns, do you ever think about the person who had them before you? I do. I think about that a lot. And there are the line drawings, and it says toddler shirt, top and shorts, top for stretch knits only, button shirt has notched collar, patch pockets, and short sleeves, sleeveless tank top is for stretch knits only, shorts A or B have pockets and elastic in waistline casing, shorts A have turned up cuffs with button side tabs. This is from 1985. It is Simplicity 7293. It's a super saver pattern. Love how the stripes are going different directions. I'm definitely going to make this. And there are the line drawings. It's an easy to sew pull over top and pull on pants. Pants with side seam pockets have triple elastic waistline casing. Top stitched cropped top has cap sleeves. The crop tops are really in right now also. Check this one out, you guys. This is from 1984. It's McCall's 9104. I love this one. But I would probably wear it with a cardigan or something like that. And there are the line drawings. It's a romper and all views have elastic in upper and waistline casings, pockets and side seams, and optional halter tie. And they're two different lengths, cropped or shorts. This one's from 1984. It's Simplicity 6594. And I really love this detail here, how it comes around and ties. And there are the line drawings. Easy to sew, pullover dress and vest, below knee length, loose fitting dress, has cowl collar, extended shoulders, and long sleeves tapered at the wrist. Vest with front, gathered to forward shoulder seams, has dropped armholes and extensions tied in front. This is from 1983. It's Simplicity 5926. It's a jiffy pattern. There's the line drawing. It says Mrs. Jiffy Unlined Jacket. There's seven pieces. It's a button front jacket, has notched collar, long set in sleeves, and patch pockets. Very versatile and timeless. This one's from 1982. It's McCall 7864. Make it tonight. Wear it tomorrow. There are the line drawings. It's Mrs. Skirt, Pants, and Culottes. Skirts, pants, and culottes gathered into waistband have side seam pockets with opening in left side. Top stitch trim, optional purchased belt. This is from 1982. It's McCall's 8120, another Make It Tonight pattern. Check out those sleeves. So in right now. And there are the line drawings. It's Mrs. Top Skirt and Pants for stretch knits only. Pullover top with shaped hemline has full length sleeves with gathered cap and sleeve heads. Flared skirt in two lengths has size seam pockets and elastic in waistband casing. Pants have elastic in ankle and waistline casings. This is from 1981. It's Simplicity 9992. 
and I cannot with these. How cute are those? I just love those on babies and toddlers. And there are the line drawings. It's toddlers romper, sundress, and bloomers. So cute. This is from 1981. It's Simplicity 9928. And again, look at the sleeves and the neckline. So in right now. And here are the line drawings. It's a Mrs. Suit with lined jacket and blouse. Short boxy jacket has single button neck closure, padded shoulders, long set in sleeves with petal hem and top stitch detail. Skirt has front inverted pleat, front pleats, top stitching, pocket bands, yoke and pockets, and side buttoned waistband. Blouse has simulated button front band, stand-up collar, and long puffed set-in sleeves gathered to button cuffs. And version 1 or view 1 has neck ruffles. This is from 1981. It's Simplicity 5376. And once again, check out those sleeves. It's really happening right now. And there are the line drawings. It's a Mrs. Pullover Top with scooped neckline, has raglan sleeves, and optional elastic waistline casing. Views 1 and 2 have elastic neck and sleeve casings, and view 1 with crochet type edging has long sleeves, view 2 has elbow length sleeves, and view 3 has cut of eyelet fabric, features short sleeves, beading at neck, and sleeve edges with ribbon drawstrings. This is from 1980, it's Simplicity 9511, and it has a transfer for embroidery included. How cute is that? And there are the line drawings. It's toddler's pullover dress and pinafore in two lengths and pants. Now we're getting into the 70s, another one of my favorite decades. This is Simplicity 8369. And there are the line drawings. It's a dress or jumper with front and back bands and it has a back zipper and shoulder straps. View 1 has top stitched pockets and view 3 features self ruffle. This is from 1978. It's Simplicity 8661. And there are the line drawings. It's a Mrs. Pullover Tops, a time saver stretch knit pattern. All views have top stitching. Views 1 and 2 have long set in sleeves and a roll collar. View 3 and 4 have neck band and raglan sleeves. View 3 has long sleeves and view 4 has short sleeves. This is from 1977. How groovy is this? It's McCall's 5842. And there are the line drawings. It's Mrs. Unlined Jacket, Dress or Top, Skirt and Pants. So a lot included in this pattern also. Sleeveless dress or short sleeve top. C and D has neck band and back zipper, a yoked jacket. A, B and C has neck band extensions tied in front. Fronts and back of jacket are cut from pre-pleated fabric. That's interesting. And skirt and pants have elastic in waistline casing. Pre-pleated fabric would save a lot of time. I wonder if they still make that. And this one's from 1967. It's Simplicity 6997. And look at that square neckline on that center version. That's really in today as well. And that version has been circled. And then someone's name was written on it, which is really neat. And I love this embroidery on that sleeve. And there are the line drawings. It's a Mrs. One Piece dress with two necklines. The lined 
collarless A-line dress with a back zipper has unlined set-in sleeves. Versions 1 and 2 have lowered round neckline. Version 1 has long sleeves gathered to snapped cuffs. Versions 2 and 3 have elbow length bell shaped sleeves. Version 2 has embroidered design on sleeves. Version 3 with lowered square neckline has beading and ribbon trim on the sleeve. And there's the beading and the ribbon trim. So those were all the patterns that I got recently. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Did you have a favorite? Is there a certain decade that you like best? You know I love hearing from you and I love the community that we're building. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed thus far. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!